Right, all right guys, um, I'm going to talk to you today about, um, what am I going to talk to you about? Things that are important to your customers. Let's be honest, this video has not just been, be, I, but I've been inspired by another video, um, typically from Brian S. Red, not that I'm trying to steal any business, but uh, my interpretation of, of what Brian was talking about in his uh, vlog of um, you know what's important to a wedding DJ and for myself uh, Brian talks about well instead of concentrating about what is important to you you should think about what is important to your customers and he has a you know it's a very good point and that is we should appeal to our customer base as opposed to being a bit should we say is really a bit egotistical and and um, and just be thinking about ourselves I come from a car business so I do tend to relate things to sort of cars and car manufacturers my opinion is that I believe that car manufacturers create a product which they then market not so much a specific group because obviously that doesn't work that is more the sort of um, uh, that is their niche marketing and therefore that is things like Bugatti and you know Lamborghini and stuff um, however they do have a set group in mind why else would General Motors produce a truck and also a family saloon and then a little two-seater sports car well you know because they've designed a group that you know is specific for a certain type of buyer and this is in a sense uh, how I feel that we should do this with our own business so we do need to concentrate on what is important to us and I would say you need a certain amount of bullet lines maybe between three and five certain pieces which you feel is important to your business which um, you can then convey to your customer because these are things that are important to you but what is important to you may also be important to your customer because we can't appeal to every single customer. We're gonna have customers who, who are financially constrained with certain costs. We then also have other customers who are price driven, so therefore the actual quality of the product is not totally important to them, um, however price is, so therefore why give a thousand euros out for a Louis Vuitton uh, wallet when they can just go and buy a two euro wallet which does exactly the same and then you have all those other different clients all in between and so therefore we are supplying a service therefore that service does need to be sold and so we need to look at what is important to us and find the correct customer that's going to fit that. For me personally, I feel that the important things with my business is first and foremost is yes, we're going to be supplying music and that goes throughout the whole industry um, that we're working in. So music is going to get played at the event. So that is ultimately, so th there's no difference there. However, what is important to me is making sure that everybody is going to be happy on that night and of course not everyone can be happy but what I'm trying to do is to get the majority of people having fun and that means to say that just because I'm going to play a rock song and I'm going to leave then a certain section out um, that doesn't mean to say that I'm just going to play rock the whole night. In a sense it's catering for all um, however still fall in between what you feel is important and for me an important factor is making sure that everybody gets to hear at least a type of music that they enjoy. The second thing that important for me is making sure that we have high quality audio hitting the dance floor and also for the um, the background music, the dinner music that everybody can hear. The background being the operative word so there may be times where people cannot even hear this music because they are too engrossed in their conversation 
and that is absolutely fine because when you're talking to somebody you do not need interruptions from any outside sources like the DJ's background music um, you know disturbing that conversation however when certain people or a certain amount of people get up to go outside to have a cigarette or um, maybe there's a buffet in the other room and so therefore half of the room is going to leave then of course the natural ambient sound levels are going to drop and that is when the, the background music is then going to support um, the energy in the room. Another thing that is important to me is to be able to work um, in a welcoming manner however still holding a professional line um, with my clients. I find this ultimately the most important thing of everything that we're going to do um, you know in this in this job um, because if you cannot communicate with people on any form of level then this is probably not the sort of thing that you should be doing because that's what parties are it's about socializing and having fun and if you're not a very social sort of person then maybe this type of um, maybe this type of DJing is really not going to be for you. In a club environment, I do feel that there's still an element of DJ presenting something new to the people and hoping um, that today uh, that these people are open to hearing what you have to offer. Whereas more on a private party, um, the guests ultimately want to hear what they want to hear and you should be mixing an element between presenting something but also on the same side that you should not fear uh, the fact that somebody's going to come up to you and say oh can you play that three important things catering for the majority of clients all clients majority of clients high quality sounds uh, in the room and also being able to liaise with the guests and also socialize with the guests and obviously with your client um, to generate lots of energy in the room and to be able to have a real great fun time and be open to their suggestions because at the end of the day this is a private party and you're playing for them. They're not coming here to hear you and see you, you're there for them and that's probably the most important thing of this. Now going back to your customer if that is what they're looking for, then that is what you need to translate to your customer so that they make sure or so that they understand that that is your priority and it's also their priority. They do not want to be disrupted by loud music during conversation. They want to be able to come to the DJ and ask for something. And also, they're also looking for somebody who is welcoming and friendly, but also to also be able to behave in a professional manner. So it's a case of being fun and jovial, but not overstepping the line. But ultimately they can see what's important to you and they can see that you also have realized that that is also important to them. There are customers who um, may not be completely interested in having a super duper DJ who can really focus on what's happening on the dance floor and rotate the dance floor and see the energy levels and know when to change music and all that sort of stuff. Maybe they're not quite interested in all of that. What they are interested in is decorations. Um, and so how do you as a DJ Find something that they are important with and translate that into something that you also feel important. Now, I've given you my top three. Another important factor for me is making sure that we have a nice romantic ambience uh, in the room. And I do that by using this accent lighting, ambient lighting, indirect lighting, whichever way you want to translate it. It's not really a high priority for me, but it is an impriority for them. And of course, I would like to be able to work uh, and provide my service to them. So they like decorations. Now, uplighting is decorative. So now we've got the connection. We're not trying to turn the room one complete color. What we're trying to do is accent the room. We're decorating the room. 
most dinner tables have white cloths with accents, colour accents on them. Maybe a red ribbon, purple ribbons, with a such of green with the flowers. So, we don't have a green table, yeah, with blue everywhere. So they're interested in decorations, you do lighting decorations. That's what the sort of thing you need to be translating to the customer and say, and you just have to give me the color combination that you want for your normal decoration. So if you are having um, a nice sort of lilac color, or if you have red as a decoration, and say, well, I can turn those beams a red color. I can, yeah, or these pillars, or these window frames. I do not want to turn your room completely green. I don't want your room completely blue. The last thing that you need as a customer is to have a meal put in front of you and you not to be able to identify what is actually on that plate. So they can see that you have their interests at heart. That you're not interested in just putting that lighting in to generate money for yourself. That you really want to create something special for them. Something that maybe has never been seen in that room before. And that's what it's about. This is their special day. This is a special event. And that is really what you're trying to do for them. To give them something that is going to last. That made it all worthwhile. So what's the benefit? What, what is the benefit of, of that particular feature? Well, it's going to create energy. And that's what parties are about. We create energy in a room. Because if there's no energy in a room, then there's no party. And the more energy there is in the room, then the more fun we're all gonna have. So, in that respect, we can look at what we have to offer. We can look at what is important to us and translate that to our customers. And no, we're not going to get every customer. And that's the bit that we really have to keep in our heads is we can't be everything to everybody. But what we can do is make sure that what we do provide, we actually translate correctly. And for every feature that we offer, that we actually tell the customer and advise the customer what the benefit is to them. Anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Um, it took a little bit longer to do than what I was expecting, um, but it's something that I feel should probably be put out there and um, for those that do up lighting and for those who maybe are getting into it or just trying to work out, well, how do I how do I communicate better with my customers? Um, I hope this is going to be of benefit to you. I will catch you some other time. Bye-bye. <laughs>